Namaste. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. So this is going to be a short but effective practice that's going to have a little bit of everything. We're going to get some strength, some flexibility, and some balance. So no props are required. So when you're ready, just sit comfortably in Sukhasana, easy seat. Remember, you can always put a block or a bolster underneath your hips. Close the eyes. Rest your hands on your knees. And take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Good, twice more like that. Big breath in. And big breath out. One more big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your palms together right at your heartbeat. A slight dip in your chin. Close the eyes and set your intention for your practice. Anything personal to you, mantra, dedication. It can always simply be, I am here now. Allow yourself to go inward. Tune in to what the body needs, what you need from practice today. Without judgment, without expectation. Breathing in. Breathing out. Allow yourself to cultivate a deeper connection with your inner being to explore and to find acceptance here on the mat and then we can find that acceptance of where we are in our lives. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Take a deep inhale And an easy exhale. Good, open the eyes. Come into a tabletop position. Good, so just nice and easy opening up the body. Hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. Just gonna do some dancing lions here. So sway your hips to the right, forward and around to the left, good. Drop your head and neck. So just move with your breath here organically. Close the eyes. Get into the wrists. Opening up those knee joints a little bit. Just make it feel good. Yoga should really feel good. And then switch the direction of that circle. Sway the hips to the left, forward and around and back. Opening up as much as what feels nice in your body today. And breathing big and full the whole time. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Awesome. Come back to center. Press your hips back. Take a child's pose here. Forehead down. You can open up those knees wide if that feels nice. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Let your elbows be bent, taking pressure out of the neck and the shoulders. Take a deep inhale, feel the side ribs become full, expanding. And exhale, sliding that tailbone even more towards the heels. Letting the earth absorb anything that no longer serves you. Good. One more giant breath in. Good. So it's a hip opener. Breathing into the hips. Good. And then inhale. Pick up your gaze. Look forward. Stretch the arms forward. Pull yourself up. Bring your knees hip width apart. Tuck your toes. Squeeze your belly. Come into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. So sway your hips. Pedal the feet. Bending and flexing. 
I'm just making it feel nice and yummy. Downward facing dog does become our resting pose. A nice place to check in with your breath. Good. Keep your knees bent. Look towards the middle of your mat. And let's take small steps up to the front. Use your hands and your feet. Travel it up. Walking off our day, walking off our week. Plant your feet hip width apart. Our knees are super bent. And you're going to round and curl nice and slow all the way up. Circle the shoulders up. And then feel the shoulder blades slide down. Good. Here we go. Inhale. Circle, sweep, reach all the way up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold, spill over your legs. Knees are bent. Inhale, lift and lengthen, flatten your back. Good. On the exhale, fingertips down, step that left foot all the way back. Coming into a low lunge. So breathe, breathe, breathe. Release that left knee down, point your toes. Inhale, Anjanasana. Good. Breathe. Catch opposite elbows here. Kind of hang loose. Opening up the shoulder girdle. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then exhale, taking a twist. Release your hands. Spin your heart to the right. Let your left hand rest on that right thigh. Your right hand might touch your back, left leg. And breathe. Wherever you are is perfect. And then look forward. I want you to plant your left palm down on the inside of that right foot. Tuck your right toes. Pick up the knee. And take your right arm up towards the sky. Easy twist. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You can always keep that left knee down. Reach back through that left heel. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And then exhale. Look down. And good. Fingertips are down. You're going to step that left foot up to meet the right. Here we are. Good. Inhale. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive with a long spine all the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, hands right to our heartbeat. Good. Again, other side. Inhale, circle sweep. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. On your exhale, fingertips come down, stepping that right foot all the way back. Low lunge, other side. So feel it out first. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Gently release that right knee down. Point your toes. Inhale. Anjanasana. Arms reach up towards the sky. Good. So stay here or maybe cut your elbows and kind of hang loose like we're basking in the sun. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep tucking your tailbone. And then exhale, taking that twist to your left. Wherever you are is perfect. Honor your body, honor your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then look forward. Plant your right palm down. Tuck your right toes. Pick up your knee. Left arm up towards the sky. Easy twist. Reach back through that right heel. Maybe it drops back a little bit. So feel it out. Breathing really big and full. And take an inhale. And then exhale, look down, hands frame the front foot, step the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, ground down, swan dive, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, 
hands right to your heartbeat. Good. Keeping it going. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Forward fold. <sighs> Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Fingertips down. Step that left foot back, but plant it down so the heel is down, angled 45 degrees, preparing for warrior one. Inhale. We rise. Breathing, 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 squaring your hips to the front. Good. And then turn to your left, warrior two. Arms reaching in opposite directions, front knee bent. Make sure your front knee is over the ankle or behind it. And breathe, 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 breathe. Good. Inhale. Straighten the legs, reach your arms up. And exhale, warrior two. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back into your warrior two. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, warrior two. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. And then come back, pivot into Ardha Chandrasana, crescent lunge. Good. Spin that back heel up, coming into a high lunge. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then from here, bring your palms together. Bring them right to your heartbeat. Good. We're going to step up into tree pose. So look forward. Bring all your weight into that right foot. Step it up. Pick up your knee. Good. And then you're going to bring that foot on the inside of your right leg, finding Rikshasana tree pose. And you can always be here, right? So it's like a kickstand. You can always have that foot against the ankle, just never on the knee joint. Never want to be on the knee joint. And then press the standing leg into the foot. Squeeze your core. Let your dristi, your eye gaze, be the tip of your nose. Breathing, breathing, breathing. And take gold post arms. So open them up, elbows bent. Let the shoulder blades hug the spine. Little balance challenge here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Tracking that left knee behind you. Squeezing the glutes. There's a lot going on in this pose. And then bring your hands back to your heartbeat. Bring that left knee forward. Listen carefully. Coming into warrior three, tip it on forward, kicking the left foot back. Playing with your warrior three. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So your hands can be in prayer. You can reach your hands towards your feet. Spin those left toes down. Open the heart. One more breath wherever you are. You got it. And then bend the right knee. Plant those left toes down back into your high crescent lunge. Yes. You got this. Take a big breath in. And exhale. Look down. Hands frame the foot. Step back to a high plank. Good. And going to take a chaturanga dandasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Squeeze your belly. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Good. You got it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Melt your heart. Lift your tailbone. Just letting all of that go. Beautiful. And then bend your knees. Take one giant step up to the front of your mat or small steps. 
Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ground down, swan dive. Circle sweep all the way up. And exhale, hands right to your heartbeat. And good, other side, inhale, reach. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, stepping back to our warrior one. Step that right foot back, heel plants, angle the foot 45 degrees. So always like to find your foundation before you rise. And then inhale, arms reach. Vira Bhadrasana one, breathe, 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 breathe. Exhale, spin to your right. You might adjust your stance here a little bit. Warrior two. Good, breathing, breathing, breathing. Head, heart, hips are in an alignment. Reach your arms in opposite direction. Good, let's bring movement. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten both legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach, everything goes up. And exhale, warrior two. One more inhale, we reach. And exhale, Veera Vajrasana two, look forward. Good, gonna come back into that high crescent lunge, so spin that back heel up. Both arms are up. Breathe, 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 so strong through the legs. Bring your hands together right at your heartbeat. Think about that tree pose. Look forward, draw that right knee up into your chest. Beautiful, squeeze your belly. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So you can always stay here or play with that tree Find your tree, wherever you are is perfect. Press the standing leg into the foot. Squeeze your core, lift through the chest. Gold post arms. If it's your tree, find any movement here that's calling to you. Good, one more big breath in. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Spin that right knee forward, squeeze your belly. Coming into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. So tip it forward, kicking that right foot behind you. Good, notice if that right hip is dipping up, kind of level the hips. Find where your hands are comfortable, either at prayer, reaching back towards your foot, or open up in an airplane. Whoops. And if we fall, we get back up. It's just yoga. Good. One more big breath in. And exhale. Bend the left knee. Plant those right toes down. High crescent lunge. You got it. Beautiful. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Big breath in. Big breath out. Hands plant and take your vinyasa. Lower down either to your knees or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale for a baby cobra or urdhva mukhasvanasana. And then exhale. Squeeze your belly, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Good, breathe. <sighs> Connect to your breath, settle the heart. And 
Good. Bend your knees. Look to the middle of your mat. Walk your hands and your feet together into the middle of your mat. And then nice and easy, bend your knees. Hands come behind you. Coming right into a boat pose. Good. So bring your tailbone and hips down to the earth. Bend your knees. Bring the legs together. Option one, lift the shins. You can rest your hands on the back of your thighs and stay here, or you can have them behind you. Press the legs together. Option two, reach your arms forward, thumbs up towards your sky, towards the sky. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale, release. Doing that four more times, good. When you're ready, squeeze your belly, lift your shins, reach. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Chin out of the chest. Exhale, release. And good, again, take that boat ride. Squeeze the legs together, fire up that lower belly. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale, release, two more. Balance on the tripod of the hip bones, tailbone, tailbone and the, hip, the seat. It's a little balance here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Exhale, release. Last one. Wherever you are is perfect. Squeeze it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then I want you to slowly straighten the legs as we lower down to a low boat, breathe, 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 and release, good. <clears throat> Bring your knees into your chest, rock and roll the spine, and let all of that go. Back to the center. Good. Keep your right knee bent. Release that left leg all the way down. Interlace your fingers over the shin and squeeze. Just letting all of that go. Maybe we'll circle the ankle a little bit. And then let your left hand guide the knee over to the left and reach your right arm out to the right. Spinal twist. And breathe. And then come back to center. Release the right leg down, draw in your left knee, and hug it in. The spine is completely supported. Circle that ankle to the left and to the right. And then let your right hand guide the knee over to the left as you reach your left arm out to the left. And that should feel really yummy, spinal twist. And then take it back to center. Draw in both knees, squeeze your belly, lift your shoulders, your head. If you have the space, catch the bottoms of your feet or your shins or your ankles and just hug yourself in a tight, tight ball here. One final tight hug, tight, tight, tight. And big breath in. Big breath out, good. Release everything down your legs. 
Release your arms down at your side. A little bit away from the body with the palms facing up. And let the feet fall apart, finding Shavasana. This is the final resting pose where there is nothing left to do. And this can be the most challenging pose for many people. And see if you can relax the jaw, drop the shoulders, come back to your own natural breathing pattern, and simply be. Every muscle in the body relaxing, knowing you are fully supported on the earth and off the mat. Coming back to the peace, the calmness that is within you. I invite you to stay here for as long as your soul is asking. If you're waking up with me, yogis, please bend your knees one at a time. Take a big breath in. And go ahead and roll the body to the right. Bring your knees into your chest. And take a deep inhale. A big exhale. And slowly coming up in a comfortable position on your mat. I'm going to end class with reading our little angel card messages that I've been doing. If you've joined me here before, Something for your week, a little message from the universe. So let your spine be nice and tall. Rest your hands on your knees. Close the eyes. Just breathing here. Allow yourself to experience just a few more moments of complete peace before you go out into your world. As I will read your message for this week. And the message is discernment. Discernment means seeing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it. Your angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you to discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger, and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. Bring your palms together right at your heartbeat and plant the affirmation for this week. I trust my intuition. 
Take a big breath in and a big breath out. I'm grateful for you, grateful for you to experience the power of yoga to help you connect and cultivate your own intuition. Thank you so much for trusting me to guide your practice today. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, peace, 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 peace. Be with you always. Namaste.